Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. I'm Mr. Warbird. Playing some more Mass Effect 2. Got my save files for my Mass Effect 1 playthroughs, so I started a new game last night to grind a little bit. Fucked up, and accidentally... Uh, started the mission for Morden, even though I hadn't yet gotten Garrus. So we're gonna have to replay the Garrus mission after I get the Morden Solus. Sorry. But yeah, this is definitely- this is part two of a new playthrough from a similar part in the story, because I wanted to skip all the intro stuff again. Don't blame me. I was tired, it was a long day of work. And I was getting my save furls back. So we're at the beginning. Wait, I want to restart the mission. Yeah. Restart the whole mission. This is the mission to go get Morden Solus, who is in the slums combating a plague that affects everyone but humans and the Vorcha because they're immune. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. Everyone thinks the humans are the cause of the plague, at least the Batarians do, uh, as you'll see here in like 30 seconds. Depends on how fast this actually loads, I guess. God, I can't wait to get Morden. Fucking love Morden. He's the best. And there's some refined element zero back here. Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Yeah, don't shoot us, asshole. That'd be very mean. Wait. Medical station! Give me damn credits. All oh, damn credits. Nope. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. And here we go. failing. Got it. Give me damn monies. And the character I am now able to import is a level 55 spacer, spacer war hero soldier from the first Mass Effect. I w thought about getting her to level 60, but then I would have had to grind the OG Mass Effect. And I was like, nah. That doesn't sound super appealing right now. Or ever, really. So I thought, nah, I'll just bring her into this one. Didn't want to do that. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. 
<laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solis. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people. That's my boy Morden Solis. Owning bitches. I should go. Goodbye, you man. One down. Come on. Well, this is just a wall safe, right? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I changed my armor scheme too. I can't remember if I did that before last game or not. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I did a new armor scheme. Cause what up? Look at that boss. Kicked his ass. Whoa, I'm shooting. I stole their money with their money. The sons have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the blue sons hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. 
Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea Oof. how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorta. Sure, a doctor with military grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Borcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Borcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Alright, anything else I can steal? Probably not. At least this time I got the Paragon points. Last time I played through this, I totally forgot to head up the Paragon options. Ooh, salt rifle. This should come in handy. That's why I'm getting more than first in this playthrough instead of Garrus. Cause I need to upgrade my stuffs. I'm gonna go up high. Enemy down. Spurs away.
Whoa. Thought you died. Now oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. He's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Tell me everything you know That about guy him. is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Damn right he should. Honest, man, you kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Yeah, they will. Fucking assholes. How's it going today? In case you missed it earlier, I uh, started a new playthrough. I got my, uh, found my old save files, got them transferred to this console, and then uh, went to restart and did all everything, and then I realized, oh, I fucked up, and I didn't get Garrus. I actually started the Mord and Solus mission first, so we're going to have to replay that. No funny business once you're in the clinic. It's not a big deal, but I got my my character transferred. Uh, Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Morton saved my life. I owe him everyone. Oh. Wish I had an armor loadout. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah, it should. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. 
The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data, equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salary name? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and Fucking love Morden. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things happened. <laughs> for a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, Oosh. good. Restore power. Release. Let's get this new hand cannon. Happy Saturday indeed. So I had to work this morning. But I have the afternoon off and I got all day tomorrow and I got my Mr. Warburg show already done and uploaded. So I got an entire Sunday to myself.
Shields in person. <laughs> Yep, got a, did that one on the road, and then we recorded a, a Peggle 2 rematch, because me and Chris played each other in that game last year. Gonna have to do a lot of bleeping in that one. Yeah, I love Peggle. It's a lot of fun. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. I should look out. Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. No, I gotta st I should stay high. Batman blanket, eh? Nice. I approve of the character choice.
Okay, where's the ammo? I need ammo. Badly. Ammo. Good, I need that. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Get into cover, moron. Die, bitch. Oh shit. Whoa, damn.
Oh, it's a lot of pew pew. This game is a lot more pew pew than the first one. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna look around for a moment. I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. I'm glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. Damn right you do. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. Dude, Morden Solis is the boss. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. Thanks for bringing us here. Thanks for bringing us here. With the Vorcha gone, the Blue Sun should be able to regain control of the town. The Vorcha may be gone, but I still don't trust the Blue Suns. Not after what they did. All right. Leveled up. Bam, 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 bam. Time to upgrade my stuff. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas? Pacing. No. Oh, pacing. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. 
We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solas. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Missile launcher. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. A an option, just the <laughs> one I take. Okay. Now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. Well, I'm thinking about it, Jacob. As far as I'm concerned, that's enough to get us. <laughs> I've never played it this route. That's all I like it. Huh? I'm just along for the ride. If you're lucky. All right, Shepard. You want to grab a drink sometime, maybe talk some more? We'll see where it goes. That might seem slow, but one nighting the commander is a quick way to get airlocked. I should get back to work. Commander. Let's just talk for a bit. We've got a good thing, Shepard. Let's not push it. We'll talk again later. What do you think? Oh, we don't have a f anything else, Commander. Shepard. Oh shit. Hold up. Mm -hmm. I need to look something up. Okay, I can't do one thing I'd want to do. And I did that I didn't know my mail plates first, but what ifs? Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Are there any medical concerns I should be Cerber aware of? Always some matters, but nothing affecting Is immediate the lab mission. Working well Quite satisfactory. You? Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any ideas, ideas on other yes. Ways? Expensive, but...
Shepard. How can I help? Are there any medical concerns? Always. Some matters, but just need more samples. More collected ideas, yes. Expensive. Shepard, how can I Have help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Miss oh, Jacob and uh, Shepard shall be getting it on. Particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, oh, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on special tasks group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess. Have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Better. Funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in not simply research. Several recon missions, covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmeyer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve. Adapt. Mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. They just basically decided an entire so species can't have kids. Here if you need me. Kind of fucked up. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's is up? There anything you have else unread. You know? Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment? I to always talk? have time for you, Commander. Okay, maybe we'll talk later.
Hmm. All right, let's go. Make sure you talk to everybody in between missions, so that way you can get to the loyalty missions as soon as possible. Because everyone needs to be loyal and all that kind of stuff, so everyone can survive the end run, which is freaking awesome. Oh, and I can also go get drunk with my, uh, with my doc. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should the know? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specify. I'm the elusive man's agent. You're aside from that. I send regular reports to you. Have a minute. There's break. a lot to do, Shepard. Fine, of bitch. Of course, Commander. Whatever. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields. Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy. You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle. When I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here? Right now. You and me. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back. But Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Brolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship. Even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you. Shepard, our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Gotta get drunk with your ship's dock every once in a while. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short... That's all for... Oh, Garrus. No, wait, I don't have Garrus. Did I return those couplings? I don't think I returned the couplings. I should probably return the FBA couplings. I just... You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My skilly and five's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right.
Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. All right. Let's get back in there and go kick the shit out of people. Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for tea. A little shit like that. Where, like, on one floor you hear somebody talk about something, and on the next floor they're talking about the same thing. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, I, I would never... It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go. I assume spread. everything's We're just going having on. an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yeah, that's everything. Wait, wrong way. Back to Omega. Gotta go get me my Archangel. Oh yeah, I was gonna go see... Yeah, I got plenty of credits. Talk to anybody there? Okay. 
I did buy everything. I couldn't remember if I did. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. I'll be back when the job's Let's go save the old Krogan. you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. What do you know about Arya? You said I thought she was another dancer. She came for me here in this bar. Me too. Some people want you dead. Oh, well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. 
your patriarch's cramp. I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Squad goals. with you. She heard you took on the blood pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. No, I wouldn't want to do that. You want to talk? talk to Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? Are we friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record keeping. All right, I'll drop it. I love learning about this from like the world. Better luck next time. Sounds like you and Patriarch. Our are history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. 
He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't seem I like found, so. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the men. So you kept him around? I did. Time. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Interesting. Do you need something else? You should find a nice young man to keep you warm. All right, let's go get Archangel again. You're recruiting. Mm. Why do you get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else? Who's next? Well, are you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? You could say that. The standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your it's own Garrus. and armor. Looks like you got that covered. How dare you. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Black That's okay. Pack. He's awesome. freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the trans... Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be free. I'm old myself. enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use... Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Yeah, you were close. You got the first path right. Come on, let me in. Oh shit, I never changed my Yep, I need to do it. Sorry. I never changed my armor. I meant to. Talk to her regularly to learn valuable information. received a new message at your private terminal. Oh no, did I just fuck up? I really hope I didn't. God damn it, if I fucked up, I'm gonna be pissed. I just wanted to change my stuff.
Yep. Now we're good. back into the mission. On the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. About time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. You we're guys a, have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate. And that's where we come Except in. You'll be on a distraction team. It's Sounds like a suicide. Pretty much. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant. Exactly. We, if they can get the gunship flung, it wasn't even a fair fight. On the far side of the bridge near his hide, more to, we were able to... We need to keep Archangel focused on... I'm the... Tarek and the other... But don't be surprised if they're not good at... Watch yourself on the boulevard. We might have a way in. Let's worry out. about finding him first. Guess we're going with the mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's... Who knows? I'll get going. Good idea. Make it quick. Since you sounds very eclipse, it's a constant. Why does Archangel give Ask, you so much? We didn't. He'll regret ever I'll get coming. going. Good idea. Make it quick. His life is that it? Look around. You'll look. We've got him caught. Can I assist Where you? Where did he come from? Even if, maybe we'll know more once we have his body. He sounds very organized. Eclipse runs. Why does Archangel Ask, give him so we didn't. He'll regret ever coming. One of them was my brother, so good idea.
More monies. Give me all them monies. That should slow them down. Well done. We'll attack anything now. your question buddy we're supposed to wait until the blood pact or but he's i'll be the one to take he's and he's brave he, he almost had him about time Come on, give me the account. Let me steal my money. Commander Shepard, Galactic Thief. useful Watch out. oh shit I didn't even realize that was even happening in the background you can see him up there that's fucking dope team is about to give us a signal. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Huh. A few more tweaks. I'm in the end. I'm staying back to Oregon. Try not to get killed. You know, just keep Archangel watching that breed. They, they, if that doesn't work, they have explosive. Look, just do your damn job. Collect your... Ha! <laughs> you freelancers get the privilege. Check. Rock. Archangels. Uh, uh, no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Terra decides he needs her again. Time for the renegade. You're working too hard. <laughs> Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. We better get moving if we're going to help him. Give these guys a surprise of our own. You're up. <laughs> She's with Archangel. Take it. Oh, there it is. I wasn't stealing the monies, I was procuring the monies. Angel. 
Shepard. I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard. We're to visor buddies. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. We can't just sit here and wait for them to come to us. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, <coughs> wait for a crack in their defenses, and take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive. <gasps> I'll tell you the whole damn thing. Long day. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards... Well, I'll leave it up to you, kind of, but do I want a romance? Garrus? Or not? I don't know. It's been a while since I've played as a Fem Shepherd. Or Jacob. Yeah, that's the, that's the question of the day. Because Jacob is not in ME3. He's not in the third. Garrus. Well, I can't score anything.
Garrus? Alright, we'll do it, Garrus. Want something done properly. Alright, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself. Defense systems active. Yes, I know. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping Tainted Diesel. I took out a big... Not surprised he decided to work with the other mer... Maybe. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What the hell was that? Damn it. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with you. Say so. Thanks, Shepard. We're on Better. our way. Go down a level. All radio. Good luck. Oh god.
Uh, I think I'll take my time, Garrus. Made it. Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his game, to help him. Still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I think so you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure. They're all loading troops. Watch your back.
over here. This one, nice. Well, that was a lot faster than last time. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Better hurry. He looks bad. Those are some good bugles. Commander, he could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Exactly, who doesn't love Shepherd. a dude with scars? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. You slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are crooked. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. I'm walking into hell. I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. To the forward batteries! What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement. Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Science. And stuff. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to yes, talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. 
Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <coughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification... Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can't stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissues. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I know exactly what you mean. You two would be such a cute couple. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have un- Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Exactly. Bitch, get the fuck out. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. It's one of my favorite lines. That's it for now. Uh, See you, Commander. There's a lot of favorite lines in this whole shebang, but, uh... How's it going? With something? Any thoughts on how to prepare? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Commander. Any thoughts on how to prepare against? I've got the best armor available. The rest. Is outside my expertise, Commander. What do you think well, of this? We don't team? have a f anything else, Commander. Let's just talk for We've a bit. We've got a good thing, Shepard. Let's not push. We'll it. talk later. Shepard.
This is gonna get awkward later. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Let's see if uh, she has anything to say. Commander, do well, you have a minute? There's room? a lot to do, Chef. Of course, Commander. Fine. Whatever, bitch. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas? A few, yeah. Mind? Here, take a look. I need more platinum. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined, Relax, sir. Relax, Shepard. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my... You saw... We weren't... Mer we made money by taking down slavers, pirates. Okay. It sounds like you were just... Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian... Every member of my team had lost... We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made me friends. I got three separate merc bands. It was simple. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone. I trained a big... Omega was filled with criminals. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to... Not too different from how you... Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consult, and now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. Had a My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friend. How did those mercenary gangs take down? A Turian names. Everyone except me is dead because of him. I'm not sure I understand. Sedonis asked for my help by the time I got back to our hideout. Do you know where no. Sedonis is? His I lost my whole team except. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I. Shepard. Need me for something? Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? Don't worry, Commander. Talk to you later. I'll be guys. here if you need me. Shepard. Talk to you later. God damn it. I'll be here it. if you need me. Fucking X button. Shepard. Need me for something? What can you tell me about the normal? Looks like Cerberus upgrade. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Talk to you later, guys. I'll be here if you need me. I'm in the middle. I'm calibrating things, woman. I need to get a... I need to make some calibrations t-shirt. That's, that's a good one. I think after I upgrade the guns, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, get a drink, go to the restroom, and then I'll be back. But, that'll be like an extra five minutes. I gotta go upgrade my guns. Get the big guns. Yep. Uh. No, not what I want to do. Bitch. Son of a bitch.
searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. I should probably go do that little side mission with Arya. Get that extra 50 XP. Then go mine my stuff. how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shep. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want I'm not looking for Look at you. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. So why keep it no, secret? No, I've had a few careers. A few I thought you were in charge. You? Not even the first crew. So yes, I... It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian. Sometimes you'd rather disappear. Better luck next time. Maybe I'll be here. Nothing to see here. Step back. Alright, now I'm gonna go mine my ship. Look at that boss ass ship. There we go. Launched. 
away. Oh no, I won't, don't think I'll be probing Uranus today. But that's always a fun part, fun thing to do in this game. Just for EDs. Really, Commander? It's so good. <laughs> Get this 100% explored. Hello. Okay, that's probably enough on that. Actually, all right, time for break. I'll be back.
And hello again. I'm back. Oh, headset back on. What's the... What's the shot? Here we go. And let's do this. Back to the action we go. What am I going to do next? I should probably go... Should I go to the Citadel? Maybe. Take Garrus with me. Like a boss. Quick break. A long break. I should have sent you this before I went to break. It's about a minute long. Let me know what you think. I made it for another channel. Uh, thought it turned out decently well. Secure that cargo. But yeah, let me know what's done of the video. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shocked the shit out of me when I was playing the game. But damn, Christmas trees. Launched. 
launching probe. Yeah, I do apologize for this being part of the stream. It is one of the few downsides to the Mass Effect 2 game. That's why it's not my favorite game of all time. Probably my favorite modern game, though. Like, last ten years or so. Just because there's just too, a little too much downtime. Oh, that's lucky. Crochet and have entertainment. Good. I like that's a fun. That was a took me as a fun word. Crochet. It's a fun word to say. And now I want to quote Black Sheep. Time to land.
Oh yeah, that's my squad. That's my life squad. Oh, I remember this one. Anything else on the ground? Hey, it's a Mako. That looks promising. There we go. Give me them power seals. Leave. back from the bugles ah, so good commander you received a new message at your private terminal I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened I don't know the specifics myself to do now
Might as well check out this one. While I'm here, couldn't hurt. That's a very big vein of element zero. There we go. Oh, geez, that's a vein. Let's land this bitch. Remember this one. It is likely that searching the wreckage would provide information about the Estefanico's final hours. Warning, disturbing the wreck could cause it to become unbalanced and fall over the cliff's edge.
There. Now I can go down. Well, I just saved a shipwreck. I got its files. received a new message at your private terminal. All right, let's go rescue Jack. AKA the convict. You will have one half capacity. I love this, this whole idea of like arc ships and stuff. It's fantastic.
Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin, and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day, I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. He'll see soon enough. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Package will be at out processing just down the hall. Hey, hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're
you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. Wish you weren't a murdering psychopath. I hear the screaming in my head. It's night. Yeah. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Processing's through the door on the far side of the room. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! And right back to the action. Damn right, Shepard's loose. You cannot contain the Shepard. Control every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. We 
can use this. I fucking love you, Morton. You are the best. <laughs> Hello, Garrus. with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with them. This guard kept maniacs away from him. Prisoners. Guards. Perhaps Violence here could be retribution. Nope, nothing back here. Hey, Frankie Phone, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm rescuing Jack. Assuming you've played Mass Effect 2 before. I don't know. Ty hasn't. Which I find wholly unacceptable. I do find it to be unacceptable. Oh, come on, die. Oh, Bitch. Garrus, why do you keep dying?
Yeah, crazy as shit, Jack, indeed. Valuable Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Uh nope. Everybody heal up. There we go. Win! Hope there's nothing else in this room for me to get. situation and I'm gonna get you out of here shit you sound like a pussy I'm not going anywhere with you you're Cerberus I'm offering to be your friend you don't want to be my enemy Shepard's combat ability impressive determination equally impressive enemies don't last long you show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere you think I'm stupid the ship is going down in flames we can get you to safety and we're asking for your help we could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out.
may have to take steps against the Blue Suns. <laughs> yeah, you do, Martin Sheen. You really do. Uh. Oof. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Time for another round of talking to people. Some other time, about to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech. Are there any medical concerns? Cerberus person, always. Some I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Oh, Garrus is always doing some calibrating, if you know what I'm saying. You've got a good thing, Shepard. Let's not... Shepard. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway. What's up? Is there anything Nothing. I should know? Anything else, Commander? Take care. So, Hadley, how are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're going to kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Yeah, then, but seriously, where are you going to spend vacation? We do not answer the question. Yes, Shepard. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's Shh, going well. Shh, 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 shh. Joker. I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. No surprise, Morden acts appear. It's just my opinion. That's though. it for now. See you, Commander. Let's we'll see if Garrus is uh, calibrating his weapon. Shepard. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. 
What can you tell me? The about weapons the upgrades have gone in. It just might give us a chance. I'll be here if you need me. Commander, there's a lot to do, Shep. Of Fine. course, Commander. everyone just wants to be a bitch. Everybody hates Shepard. I haven't thought about that show in a long time. My first introduction to Terry Crews. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. They seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. What can we do for you, Commander? Well do, Commander. Wait. Too far. Hey, I picked up a lot of resources. I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey, what do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut What loose. do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus Tell bitch. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot empty. What's your history with Cerberus? Oops. They raised me that in a video got opened. facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space. With this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim I should go. Yep. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Figuring out what to do next. Plot the relay jump! Nope, don't need to go there. Don't need to go there. Let's head to the Citadel. Because why not?
This game really was beautiful for the year it came out. Gotta take Garrus with me. I gotta. Cause he's Garrus. Alright, I'm gonna leave this to the chat. Do I go commando? And get these bonuses. Plus 30% health, 50% weapons damage, 50% storm speed, 70% renegade paragon bonus, and more power damage. Or do I go shock trooper? Which is more health and more paragon renegade. I'm gonna let you all let you pick. I'm fine with literally fine with whatever. Okay, I'll go with Commando just for that. is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist? Not planning? here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing with... I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. If that's what Cerberus promised you. We'll It'll be go. fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even... We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. is a 20 kilo ferris slug feel the weight every five seconds the main gun of an empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed it impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb that is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on hiroshima back on earth that means sir isaac newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space now serviceman burnside what is newton's first law sir an object in motion stays in motion sir no credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. 
That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is at 20 kilo. Oh, huh. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to call. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door. Damn right. I gotta go buy Rupert's stuff. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just passed the scanners you on your right. You are all racist. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just cause you ask. I, I know, sir. Fucking Michael Hogan! Or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the citadel itself, and probably a stop by the treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security I will. check. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or, I do end up working. I started with the Alliance Wave. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the presidium? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public show. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs. 
organized crime and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Oh, that fucking bitch. No, wait. That's the good one. The other one. Yeah, I don't like her. Oh, hey, here's where the title of the stream comes in. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. My goodness. I didn't know specters quit. How I about if I throw in an endorsement? You from or Shepard? My goodness. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yeah. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Welcome back. These stores are That's owned by the city. We offer an assortment of decorations. Of course, citizen. Wait. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an op. Time to head to the council. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Councillor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and. Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, they think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason. A capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councillor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. 
We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems, but Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Bitch. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the council. Fucking Garrus is like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is Garrus doing? <laughs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the council or the alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep through the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along, or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. So long, counselor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I think it would be best if I kept my distance. Strictly for appearances, of course. More like because you're an asshole. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them are buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How have the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeyman they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos. With who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. 
I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You I will, Keith David. Vice President Keith David. Let's do that. Let's go buy some shit. Oh, my back. Oh. This clapless. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He a minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing. You ran into each other outside. Yes. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the yeah. used ship? Yeah, I've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. I'll see if I can find out. Ma'am, this is a cease. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do, Maya, you know what quarries are. Let's go. Be careful out there. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Chapari sports drink hit the spot right now? Okay, well, nothing in here. The cute fat butterballs. <laughs> oh, there's a really awesome. Uh, I think it's this scene. I think it's this game. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. I hope those two the have a kid in the first game. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. Of all this was in here, and not, not that I long. saw. I couldn't help with but notice. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion you know, of it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would deal. Not. Just speaking to my counsel here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. This should come in handy. Probably. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck on error, dig not found. I love shit like this. Welcome to Sarenus application. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have a you here. Oh, was in here. yes. He bought some in... I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. You know, I use quite it's a bit a shame of so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point in Go Nan. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest I'd be in thrilled. But I don't, don't worry about it. Absolutely. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my and another one. store in the Citadel. And they're all going to realize, that wait, be we can't I all can be the favorite. Right Thank oh. you so much. 
This is valuable. So which tech module are we supposed to get? Captain Hannah Shepard has apparently turned down an Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. The captain deemed her promotion to Admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations. Welcome back. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides thank you for using a V. I felt. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent. I love this kind of shit. Other games don't even get close, come close. At least from around, from around the same time. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Lord. You heard. This is the best place for food on Ed Sword. Welcome to Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. for you. Tame. A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. This looks interesting. I'll need to make more credits. So what do you think? Here 
about anything interesting going on around here? drinks. You want to know what's going on? Let me know if you change your mind. Huh? Dude's pissing. The people want to hear your story. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter. Yeah, and you're a bitch. Out in the middle of the interview, you made a lot of humans question what the council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bad, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check this. Yep, I think that's what I want. I think. If I can go back. I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna do that the Paragon route. At least as much of it as I can. Good. The people want to hear your story, Chef. You walk. Do you have a minute? Now, Chef, your bad, your news. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check this. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Yeah, because you're a bitch. Bitch. Alright, let's head back to the Normandy. Let's go do some more shit. This is gonna be a long day of streaming, I think. Sumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. 
It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Well, that guy's a bag of crazy. Commander. I assume everything's going Good well. Good for now. You? Fractured my thumb on the mute. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, I gotta go talk to Kasumi. Upgrade what I can upgrade. Oh, she's on this one. Where's she on this one? I don't remember where she gets stashed. I think I'm probably going to do her personal quest and then I might call it a stream. Let's have a drink. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I 
chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Well, she certainly has stolen a lot of shit. Thoofed. That'd be a depleted planet. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. 
They won't hassle you over a side off. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's Vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Allison Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Miss Gunn. You were invited after all, but I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person, and no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those bastards were dogs. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. What's your will on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Gone or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password, too. DNA? Child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guard. 
Mars Communications. I could probably use this information. One sec. That should take care of it. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Can't do that right now. You see that? Now you see me. Uh, I see them. Ah! Taking cover. Okay, and where am I supposed to go from here? Okay, what the fuck? This is... Oh, okay. It was that simple. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack you. Looks like he hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Good morning. Time to wake up. Damn. He can't be in here. Moving to cover.
clean. It's a plant. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. We can probably Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure if this is not. Let's be So there's gotta be DNA in the sheets. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. You can't be back here. Take him down. You can't get there. I have an idea. See what you can find. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Mm. I can still get money for something. Time realized. A 
sorry for nuts for this. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? The model of the car. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Wow. Imagine that thing. That's from uh Dragon Age Origins. Another one of my all-time faves. I'll take it. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming. Go! Have I got your attention? <laughs> Kill them. Fuck you. I died. I died. Bitch.
I will. There it is. And I'm out of heavy weapon ammo. Oh. That'll work. Got a phone call.
All right, I'm back. My parents couldn't get Netflix working. Take it. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> Taking cover. <laughs> uh, I almost would do that, but lately they took over paying for it, so. For the first few years I had, I was under my account, but then we expanded it from the two screens to the four. So my sister would bitch less. That she didn't get her Netflix. So they took over paying for it. Big old boss fight. Incoming, pitch down. You could have done this the easy way, Gold. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead.
Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Died. Forgot how hard this section of it gets to. It just all of a sudden, boom, ratchets it, ratchet, ratchet it, ratchets up the intensity to the point where I can't talk. I can take down the shield. Lay down your weapons. Over there. Ah. Oh.
Shields down. Let's tear that thing apart. Coming from the right. <clears throat> Got him. Uh, another phone call. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. And it's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever, but you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Cage is a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. How may I help you, Commander? Is 
there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I love people that don't know how to use a password. It was the right password. They just mistyped it. But anyway, I'm going to call it a stream. Just because it's about that time. So thanks for tuning in, Ty. I'll see you next time. Probably going to stream some more tomorrow afternoon-ish. We'll see what happens. I'm going to maybe grind a little more to my, tonight. Do some exploring and stuff. You know, get some, uh, do some side missions. Get some more resources. Finish up the upgrades. Things like that. And then uh, we'll continue the story tomorrow. See ya.